Welcome back to my lure box, folks. I'm here at the Australian Lure and Fly Expo. Now, I've been covering this for about a decade, 10 years of sharing some of this stuff with you guys. The very best handcrafted timber stuff, one-off pieces. The best lure makers, designers in Australia all converge here, and this year it's at the Fernvale Showgrounds. I've got a stall here for the first time as well, so boy, it has been a really busy weekend. There's been thousands of crew getting through here. It's been a lot of fun, but what I want to do is take you through all of the stalls here as many as I can get into and have a chat with the designers and the creators of some of these gems and bring it to you guys so you can get a sense of what goes on here if you've never been here next year you've got to put it in your diary it's a fantastic expo a great event a lot of fun let's go and find some lures and uh, speak to some of the designers and the creators let's go Joey, how are you, mate? Oh, sorry to frighten you. Oh, good, mate. How especially are you? while I'm rolling with the camera. <laughs> can I film with you and take? Yeah. Can you take us through what yeah, you've got left, up, mate? Yeah, buddy. Oh. Folks, always one of my favourites to see. Joey from Jollop Lures. He's hard at work for months in preparation for this, and uh, he's always thinking a little bit outside of the box as well. He's got some mainstays, some of my favourite Jack lures that I've done reviews of over the year. Let's go and check out what Joey's got this year at the expo. These get me excited, these big Dewey lures. Yeah, so yeah. these are a new one. So uh, you'd be fam very familiar with the Twitch 80 range, and the yeah. 105 range that you love. So yeah. guys in like, the territory and that like that bigger style. So I've done that for that. But yeah, and yet again, the uh, the school Jew guys really love that. That's sort of uh, 135 size. Look at the finish on it. Yeah. Did a bit of a gold foil on some yeah. of them this year. And, uh, wow. That's a pretty, uh, that's been a bit of a fan favorite too. Yeah. So. Mate, I love it. It just keeps getting better. Your um, your finish keeps keeps getting better. These are fantastic up north in the mangrove creeks for the jacks and the barra. That was brilliant on our trip as we headed up through the Cape. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of noise pulling the fish out of the deep mangroves. Yeah. And the same with the territory. Everything's bigger and better in Northern Territory. Right. And they absolutely love throwing those big scissors up there. So. Yeah. What else have you got? There's something down here that I've been excited to share with people. This might be one of my favourite in show, eh? Come and have a look at these. Are they, these are new, aren't they? These are the new. Show? So last year we did the squids. Everyone loved the squids. but said, hey, we don't fish out in the ocean and all the big stuff. We want a little squid. So we did the squidlet. Yep. So it's a 50 mil, um, little tiny finesse squid, little tiny fine bib. Yeah. Um, your bream, your flats, flathead, stuff like that. And then I went, hey, you know what? I want to throw these at bass. So I did a bit more of a heavy duty one. Yeah. Uh, the mangrove jack guys also, uh, they're rigged. That front hook's a three extra strong VMC. So it's yep. a barra treble. So yep. they're good to go. They so. are good, eh? Mate, look at the stinging hooks on that. You're going to catch everything. But uh, there's some pretty cool, like, really natural sort of colours and a few yep. more psychedelic colours. You've got to have yep. a few. Few unnaturals in there. What are these little things for bass and cod, eh? Or? Yeah, a little bass one, mate. Uh, I wanted a little lure that you could just do a slow general retrieve with. You didn't have to pop all the time. And uh, with that little blade on the front, nice little slow roll, and you just get like that mini whopper popper sort of sound off it. So, yeah. yeah, pretty cool little bait. Yeah, look at these. They're so cool, mate. I reckon if you're getting into top water fishing, chasing bass, it's a ton of fun. Something that's easy to retrieve like that. Beautiful stuff, beautiful. We actually picked up the award for that one last night, mate. Oh, you got the award? Oh, here we go, let's have a look. So, uh, yeah, that little mouse got the best uh, swim bait top water lure under $30, so. Wow. Just a cool little feature, you notice on the back there, all the fur down the back, that's actually hand painted with my brush, so. What? Uh, that's not airbrush, that fur. I sit there with a little brush and put all that fur effect on that, so yeah. Hey, mate, you've loaded up. Look yeah, at we this. got a few last night, mate. One after the other. <laughs> the no surprises. The quality's ridiculous. Have a look. What's that? Squidlet? Squidlet. Yeah. He got a run. So, I'm yeah. stoked because that was one of my picks, mate. Oh, awesome. I haven't even been around to see everyone yet. I'll come to see you first. Well, I've got to show you this and you viewers. I, uh, this is probably the one I was absolutely the most excited about. And for me, probably the most R&D went into this out of any lure I've ever done. Yep. I made the first one of these last week, August last year before bass season. Yep. Um, I had one. It lasted me all bass season. It went cod fishing at the beginning of the year. Wow. And I went, right, we got it right and we uh, nutted it out. And that thing there is a bass weight bait. It is fantastic. Wow. One thing you'll notice is a lot of people said the bib is very long. Yep. Now, there's two reasons for that bib being longer. The main one is you can do a slow roll with your rat and it's obviously going to do that nice knock, knock, knock. But yep. what I really love to do is just throwing them deep into structure and just twitching them like walking the dog. Because that bib's longer, what that rat does, he actually spins 180. 
there's enough wow. bib there to catch it. So you can just walk it on the spot and it barely moves. So uh, I'm an absolute huge fan of that. And that bite, yeah, that's probably my pick of what I've made for this show. Can we fish it together, Joey? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's save a couple and let's oh, fish it. Yeah, just put a couple aside. I would love to get out there and fish that stuff with you. I've done a lot of bass fishing over the years, especially when I was younger. Those little little lures you can leave on the spot and tweak in front of the bass's face yeah. could be the go. The roof rat. <laughs> what, that's unreal, mate. This is the thing that I want to take up and fish for jacks this season. What do you got here? So he's Is this a, brand new? That's brand new. It's a Popeye fizzer. So um, there's been fizzers in the past, like I'm talking 25, 30 years ago uh, from other companies where you can just burn it flat out and it won't lay on its side. And I hadn't made a fizzer that you could work really fast. So that yeah. guy there with its flat bottom, um, you can really burn it and it just, yeah. it'll stay dead straight. And really it makes stable. a hell of commotion. Now, yep. making a lot of the noise, that has to do with the back of the blade. Now, you don't screw the screw in so far, you leave it out so the, the yep. blade has more room to wobble around and essentially yep. just makes more noise. So This is the sort of intel that you get from guys that have been thinking and working on this for you. How long have you been working on? I knew you'd been working on some prop stuff for a long time. I've fished with uh, fizzers for, a, oh, it must be near over a decade now. Yep. They're one of my favourite lures was to go chase a mangrove jack but there's only a handful and just spinning that when i spin that prop to see the way that works the sound it makes that's what you're after in a prop in a fizzer you need that sound and you want that that movement to get going straight away so that you don't have to really rip it and pull mm. it away from yeah, the snake sure. joey that's brilliant mate thanks a lot oh, good, mate. and uh these are an old favorite of mine yeah. you know that don't you they're so good good all right what else have you got in these that like look at your display up every year you go to work and it just so comes we've up done beautifully. Collector sets and a few of the guys said, hey mate, you need to do some collector sets so we've um yeah. a lot of work in them, but it's working. Yeah. Yeah, they come up cool, so. Beautiful Joey. I'll let you nice know. to see you, mate. All good, mate. All right. See Crossy, how are you, mate? Johnny, how are you, buddy? Nice to see you again. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you going? Really good, mate. Really good. It's the first time I've actually had a store, but I, I still want to get around and, you know, help everyone get an idea of what goes on here because there's so much to see. Yeah. So much good him, stuff. Oh, I can't <laughs> even attack him. Oh, Nathan. Nice, nice to see you, Nathan. Mate. Good uh, to see you. Talk to you about hooks in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard a few people say, you've got to go and see this bike about some hooks. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good, mate. There you go. Love yeah, good Very stuff. Yeah, well, I need to talk to you about it then. Yeah. Crossy, what do you got here this year, mate? Mate, this year we've got the new 155. Right. So this is a, a bridging size between the 110 and the big 195 yeah. um, that you know so well. Oh, yeah. One of my favourite flathead lures for the big ones is this top water crossfire. And it's been, I had it in my uh, giant flathead DVD, Crossy. Yeah. They just, they changed the game, mate. Yeah, it yeah, was. Absolutely it, changed the it, game. It brought it mainstream. Yeah. And Amazing. It's, it changed how people looked at shallow water fishing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It really has. So we've yeah. brought this bridging size out. Yeah. Is that um, your pilly colour, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. the pilly colour. Beautiful. And that's now in a pigment that we, we now make our own paints. Wow. So we're making our own pigments yeah. for our hard bodies and for our and we've just started soft bodies now. Yeah. Soft yeah. Now there's a there's a problem when there's a problem when I come and film this stuff that in, in a video it doesn't pick it up as good as it is in the hand. And I can guarantee when I'm looking at this, when I first picked it up, I was like, oh that's pretty impressive. But when you start to look at what you've got in that colour, yeah. it's amazing, mate. Yeah. Yeah. The sparkle and the fleck, the way that it catches your eye, it's amazing what you're doing, Crossy. You work so Thanks, hard, Ed. mate. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, that's a new colour, Pale Rider. Right. Jeez. This is another one too, Firestorm, yep. another new colour. Yeah, beautiful. Been a very, very good bass colour, that one. Now, for someone who wants to go chasing some fish at night, these work at night on fire, eh? I love them. Yeah, well, I've done a bit at we, night. We did this colour here, which we call Galaxy. Okay. Um, and we use this dark colour because we want the silhouette. In sunlight, that absolutely lights up with a, with a, just a stack of micro fleck in it. That's another colour that we do ourselves, that we make up, so it's our own paint. You can use it at night or early morning, yeah. but as the sun comes up, you still don't have to suddenly change your lure out. You've got still you. got enough attractant there to keep it on. Yeah. One of my favourite colours. Another one. Probably our most popular colour. Yeah. And it's our go-to prospecting colour. If I want to, if I'm going to New Water, yep. the first colour I'll tie on is a fire. Right, okay. If I think that the system is feeding mainly on whiting, yep. I'll put the, the sandy on. Yep. If I think the system is feeding on 
mullet will put a mullet on. But yeah. None of mine look this good because they've caught so many fish. There's hook rash on them, which I love to see. But when I come back here and see these, I think, my goodness, the finish you get on them, Crossy, is just beautiful, mate. Fantastic. Nice to see you again this yeah, year, Yeah, good mate. to see you, mate. Oh, yeah, to glad see you. to see you with a store here. Yeah, yeah, been a long time. Between the two of us, we, we, there's not a flathead safe in the yeah. world. <laughs> no, it's great. It's good. And plastics too, Crossy, eh? Yeah, this is our own pigment. Yep. So have a go at this. Oh, look at it. Yeah. UV. Yeah. Fantastic. And then we've got um, another one of our own pigments. Yep. Which is this crazy thing here. Yep. It doesn't look like much, but when you put it in the water, yeah. it just goes mental. Some of my favourite colours, yeah, that's what happens. When she goes in the water, it changes. We can put the same colour in our hard bodies and wow. our soft plastics. Beautiful. Fantastic, Crossy. All right, mate. I'm going to keep checking out what else is here. There's a ton of stuff here. Yep, no worries. We'll right. catch up with you. We might get a fish in again. Yeah, well, Some I'm state. going to Ballina. I'll give you a ring. Yeah, yeah. Fish. yeah. We'll, we'll probably chase that big bugger in. Yeah, geez, I enjoyed it that day. We had a, had a shot together. If we hit that big girl, that would have been a trophy fish. Yeah. Oh, she was so good. Yeah. All right, mate. Great to see you again. Ashley, nice to nice see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. There you go. Beautiful, thank you very much. I've, I have been speaking with Maddie oh, sure over the weekend. Up. It's splitting into two brand, brands now, isn't it? Is that because you've got some stuff that's going mainstream out into the stores? And then you're still gonna, you're still gonna keep still doing gonna do it? Okay, great. He loves doing this part. Oh. loves being creative. And then the other side of it, his new logo, new image. Yep. Uh, that starts next week at the Okay. He's got all these ornamentals and things as well. What are the awards that uh, Bram has won this year? What's he got? The best display. Yeah. Best stand. Best stand best end. New top water. Top water. Rightio. Big Maggie. Yeah, Brilliant. Just, um, hey? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these folks. So at the best stand, everyone gets in on this and some of the stands, the guys that have been doing it for a long time, they're so crafty and handy, they make some beautiful stuff. Attention to detail, when you come to the expo, sometimes it's the stand and the way they set it up that really blows you away. Baramba have got it all going on. Their stand, their attention to detail with their lures. Matty Fraser's creativity is uh, second to none. Now he's got a range of plastics that are coming, they're gonna get launched at AFTA, so that's coming soon. You're gonna see that video coming up in the next week or so. I'm gonna cover after everything that goes on there, I'm gonna cover it for you. So uh, yeah, but that's Baramba Lures. They've been doing it for a while. They win a lot of awards and uh, yeah, deservedly so. Let's go find some more stuff. How are you, mate? Good, good. I'm John. Nice to see you, Glenn. Yeah, it's John, isn't it? Yeah, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you mind if I film a little bit of it and yeah. share some of it Knock on social media? Out. Go yeah. for it. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Mate, you've got some beautiful lures over here. Yeah, what have you got? Are these are these sort of like your big Jew range or? Yeah, so I'm from Townsville. Right. Um, but I've got a mate in Yamba who's a really good Jew fisher. Yeah. And a bit of a collaboration. He helped me design some Jew lures. Yep. And Catching some really good fish on them. Well, wow. and then by default, like that one you hold, he sent me a photo. He's a fly and fly at work and weeper, and he's yep. put his PB barrow on it too. Wow, well, yep, absolutely stunning. How about these nudes? Yep, so we're making them Queensland maple. Yeah, and so just yeah, did some nudes just well. to show the, the quality of the timber. Yeah, so yeah, comes from far north Queensland, right? So sustainably sourced timber, and right, yeah, yeah. Mate, they're fabulous. Mm. Really strong construction, eh? Yep. Bulletproof. Yep. Everything. So that's your Mini Jew 170. Yeah, so that's that's what I make for a customer. That's his brand. Yeah. Yep. The Ripper 130 is sort of my favourite. It sort of reflects how I fish in Townsville. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's a good lure that you can go out and catch. It's sort of designed as a barrel lure, but we, yep. catch, we catch spotties and Spanish mackerel. Yeah. And, and tuna take them as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're only wow. about a metre and a half diver, but they're real stable, so you can yeah. control them really fast. Yeah, I could yeah. see that in the design, that yeah. you control them nice and quick, that bib shape and everything yeah. really stable, yeah. eh? It took me about 12 months to get that right. These ones here, these are a 115 
got a dual action, so two yep. toe points. Right. So, got it. so we're fishing up, um, you know, like Peter Faust, that sort of thing over the yeah. weed beds. Yeah. So off the toe, off the nose, you get about a metre and a half yeah. diver. Yeah. But if you come in and tow off fib, you only get about sort of 100 mil under the surface. Amazing. And really slow action. Yeah. So over you, the tops of weed or? Over the weed bed, where the barrows sit. Castle all day out there, but they're, they're sitting in the weed, and you need a nice shallow, yeah. slow action. Yeah. Folks, if you're looking to try something different, this thing in here with those tow point options where you can go and fish really shallow over the tops of weed edges, I think that's going to go really well for the bar. So, have you had them out long, mate, this design, or is it something um, you're launching now? Yeah, How long so have they been around? We've only I've only started this about 18 months ago, and this is the first time I've ever offered our product in public. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the website only went up yesterday. Beautiful. I'm going to link at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Folks, if you're interested in these lures, I'm going to link in the description down here the walkabout products so you can go and find them. They've basically only put the website up. Did you say when? Yesterday, Saturday morning. There you go. Brilliant. And there's stuff here that I have not seen before. Some of this stuff I'm really interested to check out. I'd love to see how you go with this. Let me know. Especially if you're in the dams chasing some barra. Yeah. And they're silky oaks, so they've got a little bit more weight to them so you can get them out over those weeds. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, that's brilliant. No, I appreciate that. All right. Yeah, I've seen your stuff on Facebook. Oh, so okay. I yep. watched you last year or something. Yeah, or yeah. So. I've covered it for about a decade, so yeah, every right. year I like to come around yeah. and see what's, so, what's no, you. I've never done a show or yeah. anything with the lures. So it's just, um, yeah, we just really, this is my first time ever pulling the product out and showing people. So yeah. So everything's CNC machined. Yep. So we double side machined, so everything's solid, all one piece lures, yep. one piece blanks. Right. So everything's CNC machine, so every lure is consistent. Yeah. Um, and the process is just yeah, nice. Magic. And all good timbers. Yep. So, yeah. So what timbers do you love to use? So for the Jews, like the the yeah, the Jew lures that type of thing. Yeah. I use a Queensland maple. Yeah. It's a perfect weight and buoyancy. Right. And then for all your barrel lures, this is called milky pine. Yeah. It's, it's a light timber, but it's very solid. Okay. So strong. Yeah. Um, so we use that for those barrel type lures and that. Right. And then the silky oak on these guys, you know, just a little bit more weight than, than yep. the other stuff to get, to yeah. get those out. Beautiful, mate. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Nice to see you. I'm going to get Mori to have a bit of a chat here about what he's got this year. He's been doing it forever. Some of my favourites. Let's go and speak with Mori. Mate, I would love to love to hear what you've got this year. If there's anything new, I've got some favourites that I've got to pick up before I leave the show. <laughs> Uh, well, what have you got this year, mate? The garfish, this size garfish is a new size. Oh, the first year. yeah. I had the bigger ones before, and I had the other ones a bit smaller. But this size here is one of the newest ones. It's sort of not as big as the big one, and so they're, 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 they can do the same sort of job as that, and uh, good for casting and that sort of thing. That little one there. I've got to get that, mate, because that's going to catch me a ton of flathead, oh, and yeah. I reckon good on the bass too. What yeah. did you design it specifically for? The long, slender profile, and yeah. um, I just wanted something a bit different. Now these have got no tail on them. Now I've always put the tail on my lures. The that's tail creates right. a tighter action. So without the tail, they've got a little bit wider action. But um, these ones are all shallow ones. Okay. So beautiful. But uh, they're just a, they're just a smaller one, something a little bit different. Yeah. You know? Some of these are my favourite for little flathead patrolling as well, Mori. Yeah. You, you finish on these lures. It's it's just exceptional. Thanks, How mate. long have you been at it, mate? Oh, nearly 30 years, I suppose. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly when I started. But yeah. About 30 years. We do a lot of these foil ones now, like these ones here represent the uh, barge runner, which are a lot of, a lot of the food fish and a lot of the freshwater nams around the place. Yeah. Uh, like little little mullet sort of colours. Just put, been playing around with the alfoil, uh, with the foil, the adhesive back foil, and yeah. Yeah. Something a bit oh, different. Mate. And that's sort of, I sort of follow you on your social media and you post up and you talk about things you're constantly trying and refining some of your gear and your lures and your designs. I love it, mate. If I throw that out, what's the action? Will it walk for me? This one's a floating one. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the walk the dog, exactly. Just as you retrieve, twitch, twitch, it'll just like that. All right. Exactly that. Beautiful. I do some as well which are sinking. The ones for the sinking, the sinking ones are generally off the rocks, so blokes up here, they cast a lot further with them and they'll go, they'll let them go all the way to the bottom and they just slow roll. Mate, thanks a lot. It's great to see you again. Yeah, same here, mate. All right, we'll catch up again. Right. Cheers. Sure, mate, I've had my eyes on Stitch Up Lures. I think last year yeah, I might have come to see you. Yeah. What have you got this year? Is it your same stable as you've had for a while? No, we sort of mix it up. You know, yep. we, we sort of just find what works throughout the year and mix it up. Like, I went away to Swains a while back, so I designed a stick bait for Swains. Yep. To, Beautiful. You know, get in that bit of pelagic market. And so through wire right through the way wire, through? Yeah, 1.6. Yeah. yeah, magic. Mate. Yeah, Jeez, you've got the profile for a big mullet right, eh? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, 
Fantastic. Yeah, we Little it. packs, yeah. eh? Yeah, everything's ready to go. You know, so you can. Excellent. If, if you hate my painting that much, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's how I started, eh? Little packs and twisting the wire on and yeah. then gluing the eyes on and having a paint. Whoa, look at this. Beautiful big cod stuff as well. Mate, great stuff. Hopefully you're back here. Even if you move to Catherine, don't leave. Because no, I love weird. seeing your stuff. Keep going, mate. I love You're it. Back, nice to see you. Did you win? Best hard uh, body. No. What are you talking about? Uh, Where's the spinner baits? Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, best bladed lure under 30 bucks. Yep. And over 30 bucks. Right, brilliant. Been at this a long time, eh? Yeah. yeah. And you're looking after Carl Jacobson over there now as well. Yeah. That's amazing. Not Fantastic. Well, mate, since he was a pup. Ever yeah. Since we had this, we've been looking after him. You've been pup. with him the whole time since yeah. the beginning. Yeah. That's incredible, yeah. mate. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, he's helped us grow products and everything like that for stuff over there. Yeah. You know, so yeah, which is which is awesome. Yeah. I grew up throwing these as a kid in his dam. When Carl was 15, I must have been maybe. 16, 17, okay. and you've been, I reckon you've been at it for longer than that. I think it was 20 odd years ago. How long have you been doing Bassman spinner baits? 2002 we took it over. 2002, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. that's about right. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. took it over for Ron and Robin, Yeah. and then, then it just, yeah, Mate. we just kept going. A lot of cod stuff and bass, yellow belly. Yep. 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 That's it, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. Cod, cod, bass. Yeah. Yellow belly sort of later on down the track. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. We're both there, champions. Yeah. Nice to see you. Ah, uh, definitely, yeah, mate. Yeah. She's the worker as well. She's the boss. Yeah, yeah you got to have it. I'm next door, and it's my missus that holds the whole thing together. Yeah. I just stand there and talk, talk, talk. to everyone. Yeah. She keeps me organised, keeps me in line. Yeah. That, that's all I probably good. wouldn't sell anything if it wasn't for her. She's like, John. They want your lures. Just shut up and yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she does it all. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's just all, all the sort of smaller stuff. This is the yellow belly stuff, and as yeah. the jigs and that have come on. Yeah. yeah. Always good to see your stuff. Beautiful work. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Take care. Hey, going? All right, folks, well, we're here at the Best in Show. The awards were presented last night. There's always some incredible creations here. Let me show you what we've got here. The stuff from Baramba Lures, Jollop Lures, and a whole list of guys that have been creating stuff just for you guys to enjoy. Take a look at some of this stuff. How yeah, about that magpie from Baramba Lures? You've got, here's Joey's. Don't read the don't read the typo on the thing. It's a roof rat, not what it reads. That's it, Joey's roof rat. His little squidlet. Look at that. We've been through and had a look at some of that. Thanks, Dale. Brilliant, mate. And look at the finish on these. Best offshore lure. From Jollop, there's Tricky's lures. He's been making these for a while now, these little frogs. And you can see here the Bassman spinner baits. Big Lake of DT. Best bladed metal lure, under and over 30 bucks. Take a look at this for a collection, folks. He's been at this for a long time. And he's not, he's not here. He's, he's been here all weekend, but I've been stuck doing my thing at my stand and now I've come to see him and he's not here, but I've, uh, I've got years of these videos. If you type in Lure Expo into YouTube, you'll see I've done this for about eight years, 10 years, and I always get to talk to Levi and share a bit of his stuff. He's got a beautiful collection. Have a look at some of this stuff. There are one-off pieces, the first lures that's ever been done by some of these old lure designers. And uh, yeah, some very, very special pieces. Things that you will not find anywhere else in the world. If you come to the Lure Expo, you've got to check out the collections. The old crew that are here that swap lures and collect them, they've been doing it for a long time. And uh, it's one of my favorite parts of the show.
Yeah, so in here, things that I used to fish with as a kid, but I never, I never knew it was going to be a collector's thing. I don't know where they are now, but if you've got lures that you've been collecting, this would be a good place to bring them one year and just show some of the guys that are collectors. Let's go and have a look at a few more stalls, eh? How's your weekend been, Keza? Yeah, not too bad. Good, mate, good? Yeah. yeah? I'm back at it again, mate. I wanted to film some of your stuff because you got some beautiful stuff again this year. What's new? Have you brought some stuff out that's new this year? Not a lot of new stuff. A few swim baits, not so Yeah, I did see that. They're beautiful, mate. Yeah. Nice, big, heavy construction. Different timbers in the abbeys. Right. Ah, right. Absolutely Australian, Australian barbie, right, okay. Mm. Have you tried swimming this big dog? Nah. Not yet. <laughs> Beautiful stuff again this year, Kaza. Well done. Wallace, no. nice to see you, mate. He's over there, he's been he's playing games. I set some games up and they're over there playing. Uh, folks. I couldn't leave without bringing you guys to come and check out Ito Lures. Now this bloke's out of Cairns, he's been doing it a little while now and they're different to basically everything you're gonna see. Wallace has been hard at work, he's got some great creations, very creative. I love his work, check it out. Have a look at these. Mate, what are you targeting with these? So I mainly do reef flats. Like yep really shallow two three meters up to five meters of water mainly on the reef so yeah mainly on the reef um the lighter ones the small ones yeah these ones work really well um, in estuaries okay like yeah um, but mainly cast them out big sweeps get the yep. reef feet riled up right just come right after them yeah um, so they're all sinking all the fronts are sinking yeah big ones are sinking as well yeah um beautiful solid resin made with okay. a welded wire so the, the wow. proper um Argon welding, so with a filler rod, 316. Yeah. So we test these to 100 kilos, right. rock wire only. Amazing. Um, the small ones we test to 50. Yeah. As, as a whole. Beautiful. And this is the new, I call it a pop stick. Yeah. Um, it's a popping stick bait. So it pops and it swims wow. as well. So oh, wow. you can do short jerks, it'll pop. Yeah. And then if you swim and roll it, you yeah. do like a stick bait sweep, it'll okay. swim. And Wallace contacted me a long time ago, just when he was doing them. Are you still doing them out of your laundry, or are you got yeah, a little? Yeah, pretty much haven't moved yet. He's doing them out of his laundry. I absolutely love it. Now they're, they're a different, they're a different compound. They're a resin lure, and so the fall on them is just stunning. Yeah. And the way that I fit, I've been fishing them, you're sweeping them, aren't you? Yeah. And they get like this, this really fast yeah. wobble. I've had a bit of a go at these, and I'm going to do some more. I'm going to do a review on these once I start chasing some flatties on the flats. But beautiful profile, and uh, something very different. Wallace, it's a highlight of mine to come and see the people that are trying something different. And me, this flat love it. too. Oh, give me a look. <laughs> Can I have a look? So, how did you do that? Let's see if I passed the test to you. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the size. That's what gets me that's excited. Exactly 80. What are these little things, mate? Oh, they're just test prints. They're not really yeah. lures, so I okay. printed one of those before I made that one, just to make sure that it all works, like it prints properly. On your 3D printer? Yeah, th this is a 3D print too. Yeah. So this is printed in two sections. You can sort of see the seam there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I painted it and then epoxy coated it. Oh, that's uh, so cool. So. Baby flooded. Yeah. They eat their babies. Yeah, I might yeah. I might make that into a segmented maybe. Wow. <laughs> Mate, I, lo I love what you're doing. Yeah. You gotta keep going. Yeah. Fantastic, eh? And that Beautiful. One, that one. Actually seen fish. Wow. Well, a video on that on YouTube, how I made it. Um, yeah. And it's actually caught fish that's um, GT and Mackie's marks on them. So the wow. person fares pretty well. Yep. And the good thing about them is that the colour is the same on the inside. So if you cut any of these in half, yep. it's exactly the same colour okay. on the inside because um, the colour is incorporated yeah. into the resin. Oh, wow. All these. So the foam, eyes, this one's her thing. Wow. And then this one's. And there's glow in the dark ones as well. Okay. Yeah. Mate, that's incredible, folks. That's Edo Lewis, E T O H. He's out of cans and it's something new for the show. And he's a real thinker creator. I love what he's doing. If you haven't checked it out, have you got a website there? Yeah, you website. do, don't you? There we go. There's your website. 
So check them out. Wallace, thank you very much Thanks for sharing, mate. Nice yeah, to see you. Nice to see you again. Yeah, we've been talking a while. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to finally catch up with you. Oh, look at these. How are you, mate? Good, good. Nice to see you. I'm John. John, please see yeah. you, John. Yeah, I've seen you. Right. On, uh... I try to catch it and share it with people on social media a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I've got black ebony. Oh, beautiful. Here we oak. one of the most beautiful pieces in the show mate it's Thank beautiful you. work yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely gorgeous someone came around and, and showed us these yeah. and i didn't know where where i was going to find them I'll say you see them. Yeah, yeah. someone came and showed me they were like johnny have a look at this and lauren said i would actually wear that around my neck and she's never said that she said earrings for a fly once but she's yeah. never said it about a lure well, there you go. yeah so there's that that appeal we were attracted to it well played yeah. mate okay. <laughs> all right beautiful stuff nice to see you jess how are you going good have you got two minutes i wanted to catch you and hear what you've got this year um yep. always good to see you yeah, mate you too. Yeah, yeah it was nice of you to bring your, your little front one around to hang out with yeah, ours and play no, some games the this this oh it's all sort look at all of that yeah, yeah. loaded yeah. mate what do you got this year can you take uh, us through some of your stuff yeah so this year again i've sold out of my little 60 mil mice yeah um, this is a 90 mil version which is right. just laying the cod down on the border rivers right right um and i did have a little 60 mil which is perfect your bass sort of size what action do you get is that a weight bait across yeah, the surface yeah so it's just under the surface yep yeah. beautiful under. um fast or slow doesn't blow out yep so no drama wow there. that's um, amazing yeah no it's um and that tail drags nicely in the water so yep yeah, no, it's um, both sold really well for me. Beautiful. Um, performed really well as well. So, and yep. I've got these little dudes, they're a bit weird and wacky. Another yep. subsurface sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Paul in Kermit, because he's got his little legs that sort of swim to the side. So, right. they've done really well. Um, a lot of interesting surfaces here. Yeah. Which is cool. um, right. Can yeah. understand why bass caught on surface. Yeah, yeah, Very addictive, can't eh? Beat it, can you? What's um, going on here? You've got so, sample kits yeah, or so um, I'm diversifying a bit, going into really struggled to get a hold of these gifts basically. Right. When yep. I needed them. Um, so I've now gone to my local um, sheet metal fabricator. Yep. He cuts these uh, with laser. Yeah. So this is my stock range. Got all my brought all my stock, sold out a fair bit. Yeah. Um, right. Also gone polycarbonate. Cool. Same, yeah. Same shapes. Um, and then found a supply for twisted wires yeah. because um, I'm very slow at making twisted <laughs> wires, and I use a lot of them. So I've yeah. got 60 mil and 30 mil twisted wires. Yeah. Currently waiting on samples for omegas and split rings as well. Yeah. Okay. So Fantastic. I'm trying to fill a bit of a gap there. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Just be a bit of a one-stop shop. Yeah. And, Fantastic. Mate, that's if you are getting interested in lures, you want to try some, then you can get in touch with Ninja Lures and you can get some of the pieces that take ages to get right. The bibs, getting those bibs right to swim, but when you've got those stencils, Jess, that's fantastic. Can they get them online through? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So I've got an online store at the okay. Australian Lure Shop. Great. Um, which is actually run by Fitzy, the organiser of, yeah. of the expo. So um, yeah. I've got all that there. Try and keep that updated with my stock on hand lures. Okay. Which is a bit of a battle sometimes. Yeah. Um, Keeps yeah. you busy. Absolutely. Um, but Love yeah, it. So bibs here. I've got even got some polished stainless bottle opener bibs. Yeah. Which you can see in my lures here. Yeah. Love it. Um, so these guys are always chasing them. Um, Fantastic, Just, mate. you know, Father's Day, Christmas, Christmas yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. A bit of merch on behind me. So yeah. two different colours of... Um, of fishing shirts. Fantastic, mate. Found all my all the fishing gear around. Yeah. Carol's really masculine. Yeah. So we've done some pink, pink hoodies. Brilliant. Something for the girls to wear. Yeah. Oh, well, it's always good to see you. Yeah, you. We'll know. catch you again Thanks next year. Much. No worries. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. What have you got here? Uh, I hand make all the lures myself. Yeah. They're old fashioned lures. Beautiful. Made out of spoon, bottle caps, bullets. Oh. Best shoes I've ever found for golf form. Yeah, all right. I love it, mate. That's beautiful. Just old-fashioned lures, mate. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Have you got a, a brand name that you go by? And people Hilly could... Spinners and Lewis. Thank you very much, Hilly. That's no brilliant, worries. mate. I love what you're doing. Oh, it's just old fashioned. I come yeah. up for retirement and I said, Mr. What am I going to do? Because I sit at home and drive you crazy. Yes. And she said, Well, make your lures and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't see the baby women because I've always made them use them. Yeah. Never, never worried about them. Hilly, that's brilliant, great. mate. Is it? Yeah. People love them, they'll give them a go, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, look at this. I'm off, hey? I'm off to Lockhart River in a couple of weeks. And yeah. And uh, farm around. I haven't, Fantastic. I haven't tried to go off balls and salt, so yeah. I'll give them a go and see what happens. Do you catch a few cotton things like yeah, that, yeah, yellow yeah, belly? Yeah, yeah, I've got three daughters and I take them fish, mate. They catch everything. Leave me behind. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. My little girl. I've got a son, but my wife outfishes me every other time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Folks, this thing has saved me so many dirty, stinky pairs of pants and my hands when I'm fishing, when I get off the water and I want to go and get a coffee at a cafe, I don't stink and I'm not embarrassed anymore because the Stink Finger, this is a great product designed here locally by a, uh, a couple who have just got it going on. Let's have a look at this. Saves me a ton of time as well because it's all loaded and you just crack her open and away you go. Can you tell us a little bit about the product, where the thought has come from? I just got sick and tired of getting scent on your hands every time, you know? Yeah. You grab a bit of scent, you squirt it on your lure, rub yep. it all over, next thing you wipe it on your shirt, your missus is getting angry at you, you got it on your rod and reel, yep. it's all getting slippery. So I just got sick of it and I decided to make one that works, it's simple and it's quick and easy. Yeah. And um, I love them. Folks, I've been using these, and if you haven't seen on my channel, I've been using this stuff for maybe since over 12 months yeah, now, maybe I think. Yeah, over 12, yeah. Because I saw these guys here last year, but um, I had one prior to that, and it's a game changer. It's, it's such a great concept, mate. I get a lot of questions online. People see yep. the videos, yep. and they're like, what is that product? Where can they find you yep. online? So we're online at uh, www.stinkfinger.com.au. Okay. Uh, we're also on social media, Stinkfinger Australia and all that sort of stuff. Brilliant. Uh, I'll tag it in the bottom. See you, guys. I'll yep. tag it in the bottom of the video. Yep. So if you want to scent your lures and keep your hands not stinky there you go folks see you boys okay folks so i'm making the way down to pristine lures these guys have been following them for a while now and i'm so excited these could be some of the best finishes on any of the lures you're going to see handcrafted he's been on the grind for months getting this right let's see i think he's packing up boy i hope i haven't missed him here they are mate i oh, know i oh, know i'm so i've been busy bros I mean, so busy. So, so right. good to see you. Yeah, like well, you got awards. You got awards here. What did you win? Award. Best yeah. offshore. I love your videos. Thank you. He's been up late at night, like I was saying. He worked so hard, but the attention to detail on the finish. I don't know if it's going to show up. Look at this. The finish that you're getting on these lures is is so high Thank compared you. to what compared to what you see year after year. And in my own tackle box, some of my favourites that are high, like big production stuff. Have you got a website up and running that Not people yet. can get to? How, if they the want to get your lures, because when I look at your lures, they're lures that I would actually pick out of my box to fish. Some of the things that I've got, I. I look at them and I'm like, I love the design and the concept, but I'm yep. not going to use it as a, as a first choice to fish. Yeah. Yours different, mate. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm excited for well, you. Like, like I say, I, I use and I've made lures to fish. I only make um, products that I'm willing to use myself. They're actually day glow. Yeah. So they glow under a black light. Got but ya. That one there, you charge that up with a torch light and it'll glow, you can see it like a glow stick. Right, okay. And that's really good for barrel. Little Juby Jack in the sun, that's yep. got a um, metallic um, maroon yep. scale on him. Beautiful. Um, the Barra Boss, we do the Juby Jack in that colour as well. Before you get put, put your sign away, I've got to show you what this is all about. It's Pristine Lures, folks. So you make sure you go and check these guys out. Follow them on Facebook, okay? Some of the videos, if you go back through their history, some of the videos you're going to see them actually get to work and get on the grind and build some masterpiece. You've you got some uh, soft plastic lures. I saw some of the best in the show. Yes. In the bottom of this video, I'm going to have some links. Pristine lures, I'll put a link in below. There's a couple of videos there. If you get onto their Facebook page through that link, you're going to see how they're doing it. Are you doing it all out of your own business at home at the yes. moment? It's yes. at home, mate. Yes, we've, we've registered our business at home. Yep. So Brilliant. we have built a factory at home and we do it all at home. You Just me and Anna, my wife. Yep. 
Um, and You're a bloody good team, guys. With, with goes, the next, goes well. In the next month or so, we should yeah. have our webpage up and running. Yes. Yeah, I've been making timber lures 24 years. We decided 10 weeks ago that we were coming to this event. Wow. Stop taking orders, and we've made 850 timber lures oh. in 10 weeks and 5,000 soft plastics in 10 weeks. Wow. And it's just me and Anna. Beautiful. Okay. And we do it all. All right. So, You've got my card. Yeah. Give me a call, and I'll take you out fishing. And I'm glad I caught you. Yeah. Can, you, you can teach me a couple of yeah. tricks. And, and <laughs> well, we'll share like, a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice to see you, folks. And everybody's packing up. It's been such a big weekend, but I, I want to show you something here. This is Lua Labs. They've come out of Gladstone, and um, Pete's been doing this for a few years now. He's got some beautiful creations. There's a little slim profile shad that I really love. Pete, how are you, mate? Good, mate. Lua Labs. Yeah, good. I'm sorry to get you while you're packing up. <laughs> and you got, oh, there's a new brand coming actually. Yes. Alpha Lures. All right. Mate, can you talk us through your gear? We've got soft plastic lures. Yeah, here's the last of what's left. Yeah. Um, all your different profiles basically. Yeah. Everything from small to big. Yeah. Um, 20 different colors. Yeah. Cover most bases. There's a little, there's a little shad that you've got that's yeah. smaller than this, but it's got a beautiful small profile. And I reckon it's going to be gun on the flatties. Have you got it there? That's the profile there. There you go. That's the one that I was looking at. I reckon this thing, have a look at that, folks. Beautiful, slim profile, which is a key, chasing those little flathead. It's got a belly slit in there, so you can rig it even with an EWG and a swinging ball. Mate, that's something I'm really excited about from you guys. Yeah. What else have you got here, and, and what are you sort of catering for with your plastics? Pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, We've got that same purple in the five and six inch, so it's bigger, farer. Yeah. Bigger flatties. Everything. Deep flathead fishing, yeah. great. Um, all the way through to eight inch jerk shad to the reef. Right. All the way back down to your little curly tail grubs and everything in between. Yeah. Now, mate, you've been making these from your place. You've been grinding hard, yeah, eh? Five years. Yeah. So Doing it yourself. Myself. It's a massive effort. Some of the colours that you've got. Can you talk us through a little bit of what's involved in pouring your own soft plastic? A lot of love. Yeah. <laughs> it's hours and hours of trials and tribulations till you find what you want. Yeah. Uh, basically. So it's so soft. That there's aimed at your clean water, obviously. Yeah. It really lights up. Sort of represent our local bait fish in the area. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, really nice clean water colour. Yeah. Lots of time yeah. in the moulds. Yeah. Everything shoots different. Yeah. Lots of pain. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> nah, good. It's a labour of love when we do it. Mate, fantastic. It's really nice to see some soft plastics getting built and poured by hand and to hear what you're doing. Hopefully, we we'll see you here with a few more things next year, eh? Right? Bigger and better next yeah, year. Yeah, brilliant. Bigger and better every year. Awesome, mate. Cheers, Thank you for taking the time and hanging around when you're packing up. No I'm sorry, problem. I know you, it's all gone. It but is what it is. Keep yeah. an eye out for this. Yeah. So Alpha come. Lures is coming. 14th April. Okay. Uh, 14th of August. Okay. 14th of August. There's a drop. All right, folks, I've taken you around as much stuff as I can that's been inside there. There is tons of stuff here. I'm not going to get through it all. Everything's sort of closing up. Uh, there's a whole heap of stuff outside here as is always the case I've been even more busy this year with my own stall in there It's been great to see the people that have got out here if you missed your chance don't miss it next year I hope this video has been really helpful for you guys to get you inspired either to go out and try some new Australian made some of the timber handcrafted lures that are around There's some beautiful stuff in there some pieces of art don't ever miss this again. After's coming up next week, I'm gonna cover that as well. But hopefully uh, you've captured some of the essence of what goes on here. It's a beautiful event. Fitzy, thanks for running it, you're a champion. It's growing every year. And uh, look folks, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.